Hello guys, now um, today I'm going to show you how to make your own mini web browser for your Windows Phone 7 using Windows Phone 7 SDK. Um, first of all I need you to go to start, um, all programs, then go to where it says um, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express. I need you to open that up and it will come up like this. Once it comes up like this I want you to go to file new project and it will come up again like this um, when you go there I do not want you to go to visual basic just go to visual C hash and choose silverlight for Windows Phone and then here choose Windows Phone 7 application ok now we're gonna call it um, um, mini browser 1 press ok just choose ok here as well and it should come up like this this on this side and this on that side and this on this side um, step one we are going to double click on where it says my application and go down to properties and change that to where it says text you want to change it to my let's say first application and we're going to change the page name to mini browser and press enter of course and step one we're going to go to toolbox and we're going to add in a text box like this I'm going to put that text box here and adjust it so there's space for a go button and we're going to click on that text box and go back to the properties we're going to call it well, well you're going to put the website name that you want there obviously um, I'm going to start off with my website which is hyphenapsy.com so http colon slash slash my city.com oh um, you have to make sure you put www dot after the hash so I'm slash wait HTTP colon slash slash yeah slash www dot enter once you press enter it will look like this on the main page XAML um, now we're going to go back to the toolbox we're going to add in a button so we're going to put a button here this button's going to be our go button so we're going to put it right here adjust it so it fits in there we're going to click on it go back to properties but this time we're going to go to where it says content Click on that and call it capital G and an O. Oh, sorry, capital G and an O. Enter. Um, now that all this is set up, we're going to go back to the toolbox. We're going to go to the web browser, and drag that in, and adjust it to any size we would like it to be. Here. Um, once that is done, we are going to scroll oh, I mean we're going to click on the go button here oh no first we're going to click on this empty space here right next to the go button empty space click on it then we're going to go to the properties scroll down and try and find well you should find supported orientations click on that and choose portrait or landscape once that is done we can now double click on the go button here one two and it will come up like this um, then go to where it says private void button one click object sender rooted event ARGS click there right at the end and press your down arrow on your keyboard the down arrow two times okay, one two and paste the piece of code that I have put in the description once that is done go back to the main page and start debugging you can press F5 or click this arrow right up here I like to click F5 so here we go this should open up Windows Phone emulator like this and you should be able to see Windows Phone emulator okay. oh it's not responding I shouldn't have been clicking yeah now it is responding here and it will open up your app and this is the app that we've made press go Once you press go, it should 
and probably will um, load your website that you put there. Now you can you know do all sorts of things. You can put any website. You can even change the website here to let's say Google on top or go in this case. Wait, 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 and Google's here. Now it's not the best quality, but I'm sure if you want advanced. And we're going to search for more. This is just for the beginner. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a nice evening. Um, well, nice day. Uh, make sure you subscribe so I can do more of these for you. And if you need any help, just comment. And if you would like me to demonstrate any other application type, then just comment or send me a message. Make sure you subscribe, rate, comment, so everybody can see how to make this. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.